Really? If you, badgers have a very nasty temper. Oh, not so, to go with so yeah, tamer smart, animal. Smartly, when they started doing it in Pennsylvania, they switched animals. <laughs> a wise move. I didn't know that. Exactly, exactly. There was, right. uh, there, was a, there were a lot of extended winters and missing fingers after they had <laughs> Groundhog's Day. It's been cold on the East Coast, too. It so has, and it's going to continue to be. In fact, there. There, uh, this morning, they're looking for uh, rain turning to snow around the Boston area today. It's up to three inches of snow. Whoa. Keep in mind, he's in Pennsylvania. For us, I think it's going to feel like spring, which means warmer rain is what we're going to be looking at. Though it is going to be drying out a little bit. Got soaked yesterday afternoon as expected. Evening, that front has moved on through. Just a few off and on showers left behind. A few of those showers hitting the camera lens, as you can see at the moment. Checking the uh, Doppler radar, you can see those showers just kind of scattered around right now. And they're not going to amount in terms of quantity all that much. And they're going to be kind of hit and miss during the course of the day today. And getting up the north, you can see uh, around uh, the Everett area and a few of those right here around. Seattle area, you can see a, a little damp out there, but again, nothing like the uh, rain we had yesterday afternoon. Temperatures very mild this morning behind that warm front. We're mostly in the mid to upper 40s. Normal high at SeaTac right now around 49 degrees, so we're close to our highs, what our highs should normally be. Checking that University of Washington high resolution model, you can see looking at just scattered showers around during the day today. And then as we head towards overnight tonight, nature nicely brings the rain in while most of us are still sleeping. That's going to move on through. And then as we head into Saturday, really we're just going to be looking for a few leftover showers during the day Saturday, maybe some sun breaks out there. Another system moves in as we head towards uh, Saturday night, and that's going to hang around through a good chunk of Sunday. So it's going to be kind of rainy Sunday, but the front moves through later in the day, leaving behind just a few showers as we head into uh, Monday. In fact, next week looking pretty nice and actually pretty mild. So for today, just a few showers around, probably a mostly cloudy day and not much in the way of sun breaks. Highs in the low 50s. Few showers tomorrow after it rains tonight, the few showers during the day tomorrow. Kind of a rainy day on Sunday, off and on showers Monday. Then only a few showers around Tuesday and Wednesday. Partly sunny Thursday and maybe Friday and temperatures next week running mostly in the low to mid 50s. So maybe springtime is already here. Steve? <laughs>